we're out here on a muddy job site and we're currently in the process of mixing in lime and then tilling it with a skid steer. You can see we have to do it across the whole project because we started a project at the end of December and um, we are doing it in the middle of January currently. So a couple things to think about when you're doing this kind of work, it is really important to set clear expectations. So we talked to the general contractor, we talked to the owner of the project, and we had warned them that working in the middle of winter in Ohio would be a really challenging time to do this project. We told them that there'd be the potential for lime, and we estimated that it would take additional time just in general to do the project because it's muddy, it's wet, and uh, the ground is just hard to work with during this type of year or uh, this, this time of year so really important to set clear expectations and then when you know it's going to happen make sure that you communicate really clearly when you know that it, you're going to need lime that that's going to happen just make sure that you communicate really clearly to the owner and the general contractor it's really important and even in doing that there were still some frustrations about putting in a change order regarding the use of lime but this is kind of what the process looks like. Get the dirt in place, put the lime in, till it up, and then bring your compactor in and compact it. And even then, you still may do another layer of lime, tilling, and compacting. It's just a kind of a trial by error until you get it right, and then we have a geotechnical engineer coming out to do some testing to make sure that our compaction is good uh, on the site here. So that's what it looks like. Lime, tilling, and compacting for a parking lot and a building pattern.